Hello everyone, this is Drew with Drew Drives. Let's go for a quick drive in this 2025 Acura MDX with technology package. Digital gauge cluster. You have your touchscreen now, built-in Google Maps and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Plus you can also access Google Maps from the gauge cluster over there. I also have made driving videos on the Type-S Advanced, A-Spec Advanced and the Advanced if you wanna check those out as well, where I go, where I may go in depth in some areas on the, of the car and then since there's no more touchpad, you have your wireless charging tray over here and um, you use some extra storage space over here, like this little tray. It's pretty cool how it does Bang & Olufsen as well. You have the little thing over there too. Memory seats. You also have a remote start on the key fob, which is pretty nice because the previous um, pre-facelift did not have remote start on the key fob, but you do get two years of free, you still get two years of free maintenance with this and you get the three years of Acura Link subscription if you want to start the car from your phone, you do have the option of doing that. And here's your parchment interior, Milano leather seats, quite nice. Now let's go for that drive. I and mean, if you scroll here, you can turn on Google Maps. I love Google Maps. Uh, it's my it's my favorite map service. I don't use Apple Maps or Waze or anything. I love Google Maps, always have, and I'll, that's what I'll always be using. So I think it's clutch that Acura has Google Maps built in now. And stop sign also shows up in the gauge cluster when you're approaching. Also, I think it does that for like a yield sign too. And as I was saying in my other videos, I feel like the transmission, they accurate tune it a little bit different. They improved it. And now like the, the ships are a bit snappier and it's not laggy off the line and also in between gear shifts. But on the Type S, I think it's pretty much the same because the Type S transmission was refined to begin with. It's a performance model and it has 40% faster gear shifts than the normal transmission, if I remember correctly. So they, I don't think like, you know, they had anything to really fix because that transmission was solid in the pre facelift as well. But I really love the new updates Acura has done with the new, MD, with the new facelifted MDX. I think they were well needed and it makes the interior more up to date. And a lot of people are asking for a touch screen, now you got one and it's nice. It's really simple like this. It's kind of hard to, it's pretty foolproof. It's kind of hard to not know how to use that. You got everything you need in your line of sight. You can just click everything and Google Maps is right there. So there's no more factory navigation. It's just Google Maps built in is what is what's happening. Obviously all the materials in here are top notch. Acura makes some excellent cars. I've always loved Acura. Smooth ride. Everything feels great in this car. That was a bold move right there. Look at acceleration. Gets up and goes when you need it to. I mean, obviously this is no speed demon, it's an MDX, but you know, P4 
people always people complain that it's like underpowered and stuff but in my argument to that is it's not a performance suv like what did you expect when you're getting like a three-row suv right like if you want more power get a type s right but i think i do think it would be nice with a little bit more power maybe but like i'm not i'm not really bothered too much by it because like the point of this car is it's a luxu luxurious cruising suv and that's what as i said that's what the type s exists for if you want extra power and more fun in your drive brakes feel good Let's go for a quick walk around of this 2025 MDX with technology package. Here's your backup camera. Nice resolution. You have parking sensors as well. The tech package only has heated seats. You do not have ventilated seats. If you want ventilated seats, you got to move up to an A-spec. This is finished in Majestic Black Pearl. Use a new wheel design. Pewter gray with the machine finished look, but it's like a different design. Personally, I preferred the pre-facelift wheel design. But these still look good. The, here's the new crosshash diamond pentagon grill design. It's frameless up here, but the rest of it, it's like you got chrome. And then you have the daytime running chicane, LED daytime running lights. This is a front wheel drive model. Oh, you have the hands free access power tailgate. That's a nice touch. And you also, as I said, you have remote start. Majestic Black Pearl on parchment. MSRP on this vehicle is $58,250. Bang & Olufsen. Sunshades. Here's your rear AC vents. You got some power outlets down there, also with USB charging capability, USB-C charging capability. Nice interior. And you have like this silver polished metal look for the door for the trims in the interior let's look at take a look at the trunk so you can have the third row up if you want if you want to fold it you can for more cargo room obviously you have them this is the mdx cargo mat from acura if you want to get that if you want to lock the vehicle previously this was only in the advanced and a spec i mean type s advanced and now it's on the tech a spec advance type s advance and then the a spec advance yeah i really like this car nice looking acura dealership right here <laughs> but yeah that's about it thank you for watching another video of drift drives if you enjoyed please consider subscribing Leave any comments about the 2025 MDX. I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. And, you know, if you want to see anything else, please let me know. But that's about it. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.